Okay, so the last thing we're going to think about for this part of exercise 7, I think it's 7C or 7D, is we're going to try and use the double angle formulae that we have. So here I've got, it says given that x equals 3 sine theta and y equals 3 minus 4 cos 2 theta, eliminate theta, which means remove theta, and express y in terms of x. We want it to be a y equals. This is interesting, actually, because this question here is an example of turning a set of parametric equations into a single Cartesian one. I've said you'll cover this in the next chapter, but actually, if you're in my school, you'll have already covered parametric equations. So we have that x is equal to 3 sine theta, and we have that y is 3 minus 4 cos 2 theta. Now the problem here, well not really the problem, but the thing that I'm interested in is this one has got an argument of 2 theta and this one's got an argument of theta. So I'm going to just think of my cos 2 theta identities. There's either cos squared theta minus sine squared theta, there's 2 cos squared theta minus 1, or there's 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. And there's a choice of number 1, number 2 or number 3. One of these is going to be best to keep things in the same kind of language because we're trying to remove theta. We're trying to remove the sine thetas and cos thetas. The best one to apply to this cos 2 theta that we've got here is going to be number 3. And that's because the question would then be purely in terms of sine theta. And that's going to be very, very helpful for this. So I'm going to just substitute in place of cos 2 theta. I'm going to substitute in number 3. And I'm going to expand the brackets carefully. So that's 3 minus 4 plus 8 sine squared theta. So that's 8 sine squared theta minus 1. Now, if I'm trying to get rid of the sine squared theta, if I know that this is true, then I know that x over 3 is sine theta. So I can substitute that in place of sine theta, which means that y is going to be equal to 8 brackets x over 3 squared minus 1. And this is a Cartesian equation because we have eliminated theta. These are pretty tricky, but I'm just wanting to show you that the double angle formula is going to get used in lots and lots of different ways. OK. Last one that we've got here. It says, given that cos x equals 3 quarters and x is acute, find the exact value of sine 2x and tan 2x. Well, the first thing I'm just going to quickly note is that because x is acute, it lands in this section here where all of them are going to be positive. So we don't need to worry about any of the negatives in today's bit, in, in this question's bit, OK? So let's start off by thinking about a, which is sine 2x. We know that that is 2 sine x cos x. We already know what cos x is, but I want to find out what sine x is. And that's the same as what we've done earlier on. If cos x is equal to 3 quarters, well, we know that sine squared x is 1 minus cos squared x. So that's going to be 1 minus 9 over 16, which is 7 over 16. That's what sine squared x is. So sine x is going to be root 7 over 4. And I know it's going to be positive because of this thing that I've got written here. So going back to this, it will be 2 multiplied by sine x, which is root 7 over 4, multiplied by cos x, which is 3 over 4. So that simplifies to 6 root 7 over 16. Keep simplifying. That's 3 root 7 over 8. OK, the last bit is it wants us to find out what tan 2x is. Now, we know from our double angle formula that tan 2x is 2 tan x over 1 minus tan squared x. Well, I know what cos x is here. I know what sin x is here. And I know that tan x is sin x over cos x. So that's root 7 over 4 over 3 over 4. The 4s cancel, and we just get root 7 over 3. Subbing back in here. That's 2 times root 7 over 3, all over 1 minus root 7 over 3 
all squared. And then when I get that onto my calculator, that's 2 root 7 over 3 divided by 1 minus root 7 over 3 all squared. And we get 3 root 7. And you can check that. Um, yeah, that's right, 3 root 7. You could check that by doing inverses and all sorts of stuff like that. Um, but that's going to give us now enough information to be able to have a go at the, uh, the, um, the questions from exercise 7C. Okay, great.